Welcome to Timothy teaches you how to write because you don't know how and you're just learning how to write because you don't know how to and you don't have enough experience and people have to learn how to do things by getting experience. So, nation states, in the middle of an RP, I haven't replayed for a while because I've been feeling really depressed. Let me show you the process. First things first, what room are you in? Are you in a building? Are you in a place? Second thing second. What is that thing inside of? So like this could be like a hospital. With it, the hospital has a name. And this could be like the city. And this could be like the nation. Or it could be like pool room. Someone's yacht. International waters. And you just press this button right here and you type in between it. You can also do this on other sites. You just need to bold the text. It will look like that only all this will be white and that will be black it will be a dark black so the next thing you do is you say to yourself okay what did the previous person do well I would typically copy what they said and paste it into here but I've already read what they did like five million times I know exactly what they did so yeah I'm gonna cut this part out if I do that. Okay, who's the character? What's his motivation? The character's name is Frederick. Okay, got a name. Put down his name. Frederick. And what is Frederick thinking? Frederick is extremely eager. Why is he eager? Okay, we need to ask ourselves these questions. He is extremely eager. Because he wanted to get moving and get to the destination before it got dark. Okay, there you go. Dark outside. There you go. That's a really good sentence. That's better than a lot of sentences you'll probably see on nation states or any place that people role play or, you know, even in some books that people self-publish. Punctuation is pretty good. You misspell a word. Most of the time, you'll have something that tells you doing it wrong, or you can just put it into like Open Office, or you can put it into like Word for Microsoft Word. You know, there's there's always options for you. Okay, so the next thing you would do is you would say okay well i don't my character's not really doing a lot he's not really reacting to a lot so maybe i could have him think about a bunch of stuff that would tell more about his character but would allow me to like actually type something out without having to react to what everybody else is doing because whatever else is doing isn't worth reacting to because you know you don't just post two words and call it a day you have to put down something reasonable so, I already posted about his motivations earlier. Let's try. He was aware that it could be dangerous. And he knew nothing about the country he was visiting besides rumors. Now, since he knows nothing about the country he's going to visit besides rumors, we could say... Um, he had seen many dark and terrible things. So he had a vague idea what could happen. But because life sucks, he assumed that very, that hell would open up. got dark so this is a very negative very pessimistic character who's seen a lot of terrible things happen and you wouldn't be surprised if everything just got way way worse because that's all that happens to him and um, where, where was he previously well he was in another country that was full of sociopaths that would shoot and stab everything kind of like borderlands so uh he had already had his fill of sociopaths who ran around and killed everything they saw.
but that was in the so-called Little Leagues. So, he's going to a really, really serious place. The previous place was, eh, it's just not a big deal. But this new place, no one's ever been there in years and years and years. And there's all these rumors, speculation about it. It's like the Bermuda Triangle. So, no one from outside had been there in a very long time besides the mine walker trading convoys and there had to be there had to be a logical reason for that so he's he's saying okay well people don't frequently go to this place and that is obviously it means it's a super dangerous place because if it was a safe place people would live there and they would move there and so on and so forth um you know he's packing a really good rifle let's let's go on about that he had brought a really solid mil spec rifle that was more or less cutting edge for most of the world. And he knew it could blow holes in things. The question was if those holes would be big enough. There you go. Now. He is a, he's an extremely experienced soldier. He's clutching a weapon that's 762 by 39. It punches big holes. It has lots of recoil. Not a lot of range. But the ammunition he buys is pretty good. And the weapon itself doesn't have rounds that tumble. So that, that means that smaller rounds can do more damage if they tumble effectively. So let's have him worry about that. The issue was that even though his ammo was cheap... And more of it was said to be in the destination. He knew his rounds wouldn't tumble inside any targets. He was entering a war torn hell. Hole. That was radioactive and said to have monstrosities. That were abominations before God. So he should have maybe brought a bigger gun. The problem with a bigger gun was the ammo, ammo cost, weight, and the number of hostile targets that would use all of that ammo up by being shot at. There you go. That's most of a pretty damn good post. You can do the same thing yourself. All you need to do is just be really descriptive and have your character be freakishly paranoid or happy or angry. Just like take their emotions and just like pump them up.